Hey everybody! Welcome to my short video about how to reset your HomePod Mini. In this video, I'll show you how to reset both the HomePod Mini and the original HomePod from your iPhone or just using the HomePod or HomePod Mini itself. Let's get to it! So why would you want to reset your HomePod or HomePod Mini? Well, if you ever end up having any issues with it, like continuous lag, it being unresponsive, or just not working right, a reset will often resolve most issues. Also, if you ever decide to sell it or give it away, then you'll want to reset it so it's no longer connected to your Apple ID. One thing to note is that there is a difference between restarting your HomePod and resetting it. Restarting is just essentially rebooting your HomePod. This can be a very useful thing to do sometimes if you're having a connection issue or you find it isn't working right. I'd recommend trying this first. If that doesn't resolve the issue, then I'd recommend resetting it. The easiest way to reset the HomePod is by using the Home app on your iPhone or iPad. Locate the HomePod or HomePod Mini in question in the Home app. Long press the HomePod and scroll down. Eventually, you'll see a gear icon on the bottom right. Tap that or keep on scrolling down to access the HomePod settings. In the HomePod settings, scroll to the bottom and tap Reset HomePod. If you're looking to restart the HomePod to resolve an issue like we discussed earlier, then just tap Restart to reboot the HomePod. To reset the HomePod, tap Remove Accessory. This should remove the HomePod from the Home app and reset the HomePod so it's ready to set up again like new. One important thing to note is that if you have two HomePods in a stereo pair, they will need to be ungrouped first and then reset individually. To do this on a HomePod or HomePod Mini, in a stereo pair, tap Ungroup Accessories first before you go through with the reset. If for some reason you're not able to remove the HomePod from the Home app, then you can reset the HomePod manually. Again, the process is the same on both the original HomePod and the HomePod Mini. First, unplug the HomePod from the power adapter or outlet for at least 10 seconds. Then, plug it back in and wait 10 seconds. Then touch your finger to the top of the HomePod and hold it there. The white spinning light will turn red. Keep your finger there. Don't move it. Then, Siri will say that your HomePod is about to reset. When you hear three beeps, you can lift your finger and the reset is complete. And as a bonus, if you have a HomePod Mini, you can also reset it using a computer. It will work using a Mac or Windows PC. For Windows, you would need to have the newest version of iTunes. I'll demonstrate on a Mac though. Just plug the HomePod Mini into a USB-C port. Open Finder or on a Windows PC it'd be iTunes, then choose the HomePod on the left. Then you can click the Restore HomePod button on the right. Remember, this method using the computer only works for HomePod Mini since it has a USB-C connection. It's really simple to reset the HomePod or HomePod Mini. Restarting or resetting a HomePod can really help solve most problems people ever encounter with their HomePod. And it's great that the process is pretty much the same regardless of the model, so it's really quite easy. If you end up having any questions about resetting your HomePod or HomePod Mini, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.